Okay, I'm going to make this video to explain how I do cross wrap designs for the for custom fishing rods. Um, I put up a video about decorative wraps that I use for other kinds of rods, and that got a pretty good amount of hits, a couple views, good amount of views. So I'm going to do one about um, cross wrap designs. Now, cross cross wraps are a little bit more involved. Um, you got your chevron wraps, you got opposing chevrons, you got reverse chevrons, you got diamonds. Today we're going to focus on a diamond wrap. Um, a diamond wrap just pretty much consists of wrapping the rod with different color threads in a certain pattern. And the best way to explain it to somebody who's never done this or somebody who's never seen a cross wrap is what I'm going to do here. This is just an X I put on a piece of paper. And if you think, think of this X as the way the threads are running on your blank. This is your A line. This is your B line. This portion of the A line is the up portion. This is the up portion of the B line. This is the down portion of the B line. And this is the down portion of the A line. Now when doing certain kind of wraps, there's a recipe that you're, you know, you follow. The recipe helps you along when doing these wraps so you don't get confused you know when you're really deep into the wrap and you forget what you're doing this is the recipe for this specific recipe I'm gonna to try to explain it the best way I can and then we're gonna we're gonna follow it so we're gonna go our first run is going to be up we're gonna go up on B up so we're gonna run this way then we're gonna come down on A up. So we're gonna come back down this way. Then we're gonna go up on B down. We're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna come down on A down. And that's pretty much the same recipe we're gonna follow the whole way through this design. So I'm gonna go ahead, I have here just pieces of tape. That's about 16 inch tape. I got it from a hobby store and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how easy this is to make these cross wraps, especially these diamond wraps. Not easy, it's just time consuming, but it can get pretty involved. And once again, this is going to be an open end cross wrap. Uh, it's not going to be closed. Closed is pretty much when none of the blank is visual. visual. The whole blank is covered with thread. That's a lot more involved. Um, that's a whole nother video because there's a lot of measurements involved, but I'm going to show you guys primarily an open end cross wrap. So I'm going to follow my recipe and I'm going to use serve this black tape. So up on B up. That right there. Then we're going to go down on A up. Then we're going to go up on B down. And we're gonna go down on A down. And you can think of this as A left, A right, B left, B right, but I just use it as up and down. So there we go, that's the start. That's the start of our wrap. I'm gonna come in here with a different color, follow the same recipe. Up here. So there you go, that's pretty much the gist of it. You can see here how it's starting to play out with different colors and how it looks. If we were to use these three colors on a rod, that's what it would look like just by following this recipe right here. So that's pretty much there is to it. Like I said, this is gonna be an open end uh, diamond wrap that we're gonna be doing. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I get the blank prepared next and then um, show you how I'm gonna wrap the thread onto the rods. 
Okay, I went ahead and made my first wrap off camera. Um, this is it's pretty difficult to do trying to do it for uh, in uh, for an audience because this is critical. You want to get these. You want to get your first wrap as straight and crossed as you can. There you see. There's the side. There's the bottom. There's the other side. And there's the top. So, as you can see here, I, I wrap a scotch tape down here, but I wrap it over itself so the sticky sides up. And I do that on the uh, cork and also the blank, because that gives me a, a good strong bond. I just wrap the thread around there when I go up and down. It keeps it real tight. So, I'm going to do um, one or two more of yellow, and then I'll come back and do it on video, because yellow and yellow is really not going to show up that well. But uh, I'll come back and do it on video of the other co uh, of the other colors. Okay, you can see I have my yellow laid down to start my diamond wrap. Next, I'm going to come in with white. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around. I usually do this standing up, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to have to do it sitting down. Just tighten these up. Make sure this is still good. Okay. I'm going to come in with my white. It's going to go lay it. This way. Kind of pack it along as I go. Probably tough to see on the video. Okay, so there's my first run of white. Hope it shows up. Um, I'm gonna run another wrap of white. And you can kind of see how it's kind of um, not really packed as tight as I'd like to, but that's okay because we're gonna come back and we're gonna pack that. I'm gonna run another one of white, of, uh, of white and then come back and show you those results. Okay, now that uh, I got a couple bases down. I was going to do another white, 
but I'm going to leave it with two. I was going to do three whites, but I like the way it looks with two right now. It kind of fades into the yellow. As you can see, some of these strings aren't really uh, packed real tight right now. That's not a big deal. We can come back later and we can pack that in in the future. It's really nothing major. You just don't want them too loose because then you might have the occasion where you wrap inside the thread you already wrapped which will screw up the design. So I'm going to come in with a black and now I hope you can really see what I'm talking about now with these diamond patterns. Let's go ahead and tighten that a little bit more. Here. Do it in here. Okay. So here's my black. I come in with the black and it's going to pop this uh, yellow and white. I'll just give us a couple wraps on my double sided tape. Okay. Now, this is where I'm going to go up on the A, I believe was the recipe. Up on the B, up on the B up. So, let me just get some of this back in. Okay. So, we're going to come. Okay, so there's that. You can tell how the black really pops off that yellow and white. Now I'm going to do another uh, black and then depending on how it looks I may run another um, yellow and white just to accent that off a little bit. So when I come back you'll see the black finished and maybe I'll run another of white or yellow. Okay, here we are. Not really the finished result yet, but as far as it comes to wrapping the finished result. I added some gold uh, thread in there as well. You can get the camera to focus. There we are. Kind of see the gold there pretty good. So next I'm going to show you what to do about the butt end here and the tip end. That's the fun part because we got to cut this thread. Right, so I'm going to finish my wrap here. Um, got all my threads laid out and got them packed real tight. This is the top of the rod. So everything from here back is going to be covered. If I flip over, if I'm going to start my wrap here, I'm probably going to start it right in the middle of this diamond on the bottom section of the rod. So I'm going to start about right in the middle, right here. To secure these threads down. So I'll, this is just like if you're wrapping a guide or something. You just bring your. I'm covering covering this with black. So I just bring my black up across. And you want this to be fairly tight. The tighter the better. Not super tight, but tight. So I'm gonna go ahead. Like I said, this is just like if you were wrapping guides. The same process, except you're wrapping red. Get it all lined up.
Okay, so right about here I'll stop. And this is the fun part. You come in with a razor blade and you cut all this excess off because that's how you tie down these patterns. I'm just going to come in with a razor blade real lightly. Nice sharp razor blade. Try not to score the blank at all. So I'm black in there. That part. Careful not to cut your main line. I think that should be it. Remove my tape just to make sure I got all my thread. Okay, so I got my tape removed. Next, take the razor blade and just fray these ends out so they're nice and I guess flat if you want to call it that. Careful not to cut your main line. Just take your blade and run it along there so that these ends fray. Because that will give this line that you're wrapping with a lot more to bite to. Just like that. And continue. You're finished. about there I'm going to come in with a different color of thread I'm going to tie my finishing knot Saw some slack. Forgot my scissors. I'm gonna have to use the razor blade. Cut that. Fish that through. Go ahead and pull. Get that started. I like to get the line started. And then I just come in and cut as close as I can off. Pull the rest through. Like that. I'm going to clean that up with a pair of scissors and here's the point where if you're putting a hook keeper on or anything like that I'm going to run this wrap back up this way so now's the time if you want to put a hook keeper on to go ahead and put that on. I'm going to go grab some scissors and the hook keeper and I'll do hey, that. I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing I did at the butt section for the tip section. Once again this would be the top so I'm probably going to start my wrap right in the middle of this diamond pattern right here.
Okay, now I'll do one more up the other way and, and uh, seeing you guys already got the gist of it, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so there we go, finished result. See a little tab sticking up, I gotta get those off with the nail clippers, but that's pretty much it. And there's the tip section all tied down. See a little tab there, I gotta get the nail clippers like I said. But that's all there is to it. Good luck if you're gonna give us a shot. Like I said, it's not the hardest thing to do, it just requires a lot of patience. So like and subscribe.